Low-income earners can often find themselves getting discouraged when it comes to finding ways to save money. When you're only bringing in a modest paycheck, there might not be much left over to stash away in your savings or investment accounts. The fact is, low-income earners do have a small advantage over higher-earning individuals in that they often have lower expenses. Monthly expenses are usually much lower and limited to some smaller debts, car repairs, and their rent expense. There's probably no money being wasted on high lease payments for luxury cars and oversized mortgage payments. Higher income people can often become stuck in a constant cycle of earning a large amount of money and spending most of it. Before you say there's no way you could possibly save any money, try implementing these strategies. If you enjoy videos about money, personal finance and investing, all topics that will help you better your financial future, consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification icon to be notified of new videos. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. Housing costs are usually the single largest expense in most budgets, with the average mortgage payment in the United States being over $1,000 per month. Between the cost of the rent or mortgage payment, maintenance, repairs, insurance, and more, housing can eat up a large percentage of your income, especially in a lower income bracket. By keeping your housing payment to a minimum and not renting or buying more space than needed, there will be more money freed up for savings. Spending money on a fancier apartment or bigger house could seem like a waste of money in retrospect. Don't forget the reduced costs of maintenance and utilities that are usually associated with lower-priced properties. If you rent a place, consider trading work around your rental for a reduction in your rent payment. This can potentially be a win-win situation for your landlord and your wallet, and if you have the skills, most landlords are receptive to this type of arrangement. You could also do yard work such as mowing, mulching, and raking in exchange for a discount. The rent savings should be earmarked for a savings account so the money saved doesn't find a home elsewhere. If you get an apartment with a property manager position, you could likely pay no rent at all. Apartment building owners often give property managers a free apartment. Imagine eliminating the single highest expense of your budget. If you currently own your own place, Keep an eagle's eye on utility costs and cut down wherever possible. Switching to LED bulbs as the old incandescent bulbs burn out can make a difference on that electric bill. Be sure to turn off lights in rooms that aren't being used and unplug electronics that are sitting idle. Adjust your thermostat to a lower temperature in the winter and higher in the summer. A few degrees will make a small difference in your utility bills that can instead be money saved not to mention the reduced wear and tear on your climate control systems. Lower the temperature of your hot water heater so the water isn't being kept unnecessarily high at near boiling temperatures and take quicker showers to reduce your water bill. You know your water is being kept too hot if you aren't able to run your hands underneath the faucet when it's on the hottest setting. Maintain the house, keeping it in good condition, and ensure the systems are running at optimum efficiency to not only prolong their lifespan and reduce maintenance costs, but to burn less fuel during the meantime. Avoid cosmetic upgrades like new wood flooring or quartz countertops that won't provide savings. While these items might seem inconsequential, on a low income, even a few dollars per week can make a difference. Transportation costs are another huge expense for many. The cost of purchasing a vehicle, insuring, maintaining, and registering it are all expensive things. Most people don't realize how expensive driving is. When you factor in gas, maintenance, and depreciation of the car's value, it could easily be around 50 cents per mile. Drive half an hour to the store and half an hour back and you've probably driven at least 30 miles at a cost of $15 per hour driven. If possible, Substitute your driving habits for walking or biking, especially if you're in an area suitable for this. Take advantage of free transportation when possible. Even if you leave your car parked one or two days per week instead of driving it every day, there will be a savings. Never mind the health benefits received from exercising. Get out of debt and stay out, assuming you're earning enough to cover your expenses. Not only does accumulating debt mean that you'll have more obligations each month, it means you're postponing financial freedom by paying massive amounts of interest to the credit card companies. 
According to creditcards.com, the average interest rate on this type of debt is over 17%. This means that if you're carrying a balance of $10,000, over the course of one year you will have paid $1,700 in interest alone. By paying off debt quickly or avoiding racking up debt entirely, that's less interest paid out and more savings in your pocket. Entertainment costs have a tendency to sneak up on people, especially if their paycheck is somewhat lean. After all, what's the harm in stopping for a couple of drinks and dinner out after a busy week at work? Dinner and a movie out for two people could easily cost more than $100, which is a lot of money for low earners. Instead of heading out for a night on the town, have friends and family over for a potluck dinner. Not only will there be more food and leftover items, drinking soda and alcohol will cost about one-fifth the cost of buying drinks at a restaurant. Watch movies at home with an inexpensive streaming service and make your own popcorn instead of paying astronomical prices at the movie theater. Take advantage of free sources of entertainment and ones that will help you stay fit, such as hiking and biking, and watch your town schedule for events like concerts. If you have the means to splurge once in a while, budget and schedule for that expense and use coupons and deals found on sites like Groupon to lower the costs. This might seem obvious, but only buy items when completely necessary. If you had an extra long day at work, putting in more hours, you might feel entitled to buy a new phone or watch. While you might have earned a small amount of money extra by staying at work longer, the amount earned usually isn't as much as anticipated. In other words, if you worked a long day and earned an extra $50, it's not logical to spend hundreds on a new phone or a night out in the town. Don't worry about keeping up with the Joneses and always spending more as your income increases. Lifestyle creep is a common phenomena that can keep the middle class working longer to keep up with increased expenses. Make a commitment to yourself that you'll only spend a certain amount of money once certain achievements have been met. The average amount of money a family of four spends on groceries is about $1,000 every month, but with some proper planning, that number could reasonably be cut in half. There are many ways to save money on food that are often overlooked, such as making a meal plan for the week that you'll stick to in shopping, planning your meals based on what's on sale at the store, avoiding additional purchases like soda, chips, and other junk food that doesn't supplement your diet. Consider giving up one habit that's costing you money, perhaps on a daily basis, and dedicate that expense to a savings account instead. For instance, if you have a morning coffee habit, it can cost you over $1,000 per year if you pay $3 per day for your morning caffeine fix. Some people smoke cigarettes and gladly spend $8 per pack, not realizing that this habit adds up to $240 per month at just one pack per day. Many claim that smoking is expensive, but that's not what's ruining their budget. Consider that the price of one pack of cigarettes per day invested in the stock market over the average working career would equate to well over $1 million. That is a large amount to contribute to a savings account, and it could clearly add up very quickly over the years. Is smoking cigarettes or any other habit of similar expense worth $1 million? Most everyone has a comparable daily habit that is a real savings killer that can be eliminated. Budgeting your income and expenses will be beneficial in helping you understand where money is being spent. Many people claim they don't need a budget because they know what items they purchase, but are unsure why they're broke at the end of each month, not being able to say where each dollar was spent. It's best to implement a written budget into your financial plan. Utilizing a zero-sum budget means that every dollar of your paycheck has a specific destination. If there's any money left over after accounting for every need, direct that money into savings so there will be less temptation to spend it. By having a plan for each dollar earned, you can avoid wasting money on frivolous, impulsive, and unnecessary purchases. Sites such as everydollar.com can help you track your spending for free. Automate your savings to begin saving money immediately without having it sit around in your bank account, burning a hole in your pocket. More money in your wallet or checking account is a subconscious signal that there's extra available for spending. It's recommended to keep about one month's expenses in your checking account. Any extra left there could potentially be wasted on unnecessary spending. 
Making saving automatic is one of the best ways to save money, assuming your critical expenses are paid, and it's a strategy that most millionaires have taken advantage of. Taking money directly from your paycheck is ideal, but if that's not an option due to your method of pay, an automatic withdrawal from your checking account is a secondary option. Most people who have utilized an automatic savings method will tell you that they simply adjust and sometimes don't even notice that they're living on a lesser amount. Money unaccounted for has the amazing ability to slip through your fingers. If you're living paycheck to paycheck and it seems impossible that you could ever get ahead, consider that almost every single budget has expenses that could be cut out with varying levels of feasibility. Coffee, cigarettes, lunch out, a bag of chips are all expenses that add up, particularly on a low income. Do you drink coffee at home instead of buying it out? That home-brewed coffee is an expense that could be cut out if necessary. No matter how small these savings may potentially be, they can add up to be significant expenses over time. This is what saving money on a low income is all about, cutting out many small costs. It's easy to justify small expenses on a daily basis. However, these seemingly inconsequential costs have the ability to add up very quickly. If earning a measly paycheck makes you feel strapped, Remember that nearly everyone has some expense that can be eliminated from their budget, so it's unlikely that you're the exception.